Welcome, uh, welcome everybody. <laughs> Shouldn't shout too hard. Um, welcome everybody um, to this uh, special event uh, where we are going to uh, hand over the, the grant this year of uh, Marina van Damme. Uh, I want to give a very special warm welcome to Marina van Damme herself. Uh, she's the one that uh, made this possible. She's the visionary who initiated uh, this program that currently is running at uh, four universities. Uh, started at Delft University, uh, somewhat later at uh, Twente, uh, still somewhat later at Eindhoven University, and recently also uh, Wagen, Wageningen University uh, joined this program. And this program is a very special program because it helps uh, women to make next steps in uh, uh, their development, in their career development. And I think especially for the Netherlands, this is uh, very important that we do these things. But we'll come to that later on. Uh, so let's start with the program. And I would like to start uh, with, oh, my name is uh, Tom Bax, by the way. I'm uh, responsible for the uh, alumni relations and for the uh, uh, working together with uh, the board of the uh, university fund. Uh, but let's start with uh, a short movie. Hello, my name is Nicole Segers and I'm the 2012 winner at Technische Universiteit Eindhoven. Thanks to the Marina van Damme grant, I've been able to make huge steps. Not only did I get to work on circular economy in construction, I also studied immunity to change. Psychology of social innovation, oh, it intrigues me deeply, you know. I really discovered my passion. And as an entrepreneur, I'm now really working hard on sustainability with a smile, or in Dutch, duurzaamheid met een lach. Hi, my name is Lisanne van Oppen and I graduated as a biomedical engineer at the Eindhoven University of Technology. And in 2016, uh, I applied for the Marina van Damme grant uh, to visit an institute in bioengineering in Barcelona to learn a new uh, microscopy technique. And I was uh, very happy and grateful that I was awarded uh, with the grant to enable this project. Hi, my name is Milo Feit and I work as a PhD candidate at the TU Eindhoven. I applied for the Marina van Damme grant and won the prize in 2018. My plan with the grant is to go to UC Berkeley in the USA to investigate and develop novel technologies that can improve our mental health care. Becoming a member of the Marina van Damme network has already given me the opportunity to meet other ambitious female engineers whose stories inspire me to keep pursuing my goals. Therefore, I'm very grateful, and I hope that the Marina van Damme grant will keep motivating other women to pursue their goals in the future. As you already uh, heard from these people that won this grant before, um, they have been able to do special things with the grant that they received uh, due to Marina van Damme. Um, this year we have uh, changed the program slightly uh, compared to the uh, other years. And what I would like to do is uh, start with a short uh, panel discussion. Uh, and I would like to invite uh, four people for that uh, discussion behind the tables over there. First of all, uh, Elena Lomonova. Elena is uh, professor at uh, Eindhoven University in Electromechanics. Uh, and she is uh, sharing the jury uh, to uh, select the people that uh, apply for this grant. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh. I also would like to uh, invite uh, Samoa Getrouw. Um, she is uh, coordinator of the uh, bachelor program uh, at Windesheim. Uh, but her special, special role is also that she is uh, sharing the Marina van Damme network. And she won this grant uh, already a while ago, 2011, at Delft University. So. Next person I would like to invite is uh, Adriana Creatore. 
Adriana is a professor at Applied Physics here at Eindhoven University. And she is sharing the WISE network at Eindhoven University. Uh, WISE stands for Women in Science at Eindhoven University. So. And the last person that I would like to invite is uh, Killer Huber. Uh, Killer currently is uh, CEO at a firm uh, she started. She will say a few words on that uh, in a moment. And she has been the uh, winner of the uh, Marine van Damme grant last year. So, warm welcome also to Killer. Uh, ladies, do you want to introduce yourself a little bit further than I did? If not, I would like to start with the questions. <laughs> uh, first question uh, that I would like to ask, uh, especially to Elena as uh, chair of the uh, jury, is uh, why is it important that this grant is awarded at Eindhoven University of Technology? Always difficult questions. Mm, why? <laughs> because Eindhoven University of Technology is the best university in the Netherlands. <laughs> in the yeah, but the other... The other the other universities participating in this uh, network are, Definitely. I think, equally but important. But the first yeah. university, as far as I remember, at least was Twente uni University. No, Delft. Delft and then yeah. University of Twente and then Eindhoven University. And then, uh, well, yeah. I mean, well, it's um, also respect to our university, respect to the uh, landscape of the uh, female who are grown as the alumni of the university, so master, PDENC, PhD. It's a fantastic network of the women as well, so Adriana will talk about most probably about that. And definitely it is um, impulse for the professional career in the future, uh, technical or uh, professional uh, niche, which gives them boosting of energy in their professional career. I think it's fantastic. I always consider that it's one of the best awards. Thank you, Elena. Next uh, uh, question uh, that I would like to ask is, uh, what are the advantages of uh, being part of the uh, Marina van Damme network? And I would like to ask this uh, question to the uh, chair of the uh, Marina van Damme uh, team, yes. if I may say so. Thank you. Well, when you win the award, you have a plan and you um, get awarded the grant to be able to um, uh, pursue your dreams. But you also become a member of the Marina van Damme network. And when I first became a member of the network, it wasn't really clear for me what that meant. But it really does mean a lot because you become a part of this group of, um, of women who are all ambitious like you are. And... Um, we all have the same uh, difficulties we encounter during our careers um, and we understand each other and it's just um, having a group to, to talk about it, to confirm that you're not crazy for wanting what you want, which is um, um, because you don't see uh, the type of ambition you have uh, surrounding you um, every day. So having those meetings is, um, is very uh, useful, it's the, the, the general things we um, we encounter during our careers and having a group to talk about it, to um, give each other advice, um, it really helps a lot. And the second part of the, um, yeah. the meetings... Can you share some of the special yeah. things that are discussed during those meetings that you have? We, um, we have uh, different meetings, like the, the, the main meeting is under the apple bomb, as we call it, that's um, when we uh, gather under the, literally under the apple trees at the Marina van Damme's uh, premises, and then we just... Um, Everybody just um, talks about what they're doing. And um, we do this every year. Okay, we had, uh, of course, Corona uh, interrupted it uh, twice. But um, we see each other's growth. And um, just hearing what we are doing and, and um, talking about what you're doing uh, really helps to inspire each other. But next to those meetings, we also have smaller meetings where we just um, have uh, specific topics uh, we discuss with each other. Um, and sometimes before the meeting, we don't even know what the main uh, topic is going to be. But then someone says, well, I um, had this um, um, CEO who's making my life difficult. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden you have uh, 10 other women having the same problems. And um, just um, talking about it really, really helps. 
Thank you. And sometimes it's like I'm, I'm looking for uh, new members of my company, and then we just try to see who is but interested, so that also helps. Th that's indeed what networks are for, I think, and this is a marvelous network that has been created this way. Uh, so thank you very much for uh, answering this. <laughs> Next question that I have, uh, I would like to pose to uh, Ander. Adriana, um, and that is, uh, why do you think uh, that, and how do you think that the WISE network aligns with uh, the goal of the Marina van Damme uh, grant? As it is? Well, I would say the Marina van Damme really provides an opportunity for our female scientists and engineers to pursue their dream. This is a good incentive, and of course you get visibility in an event like this. The WISE network really makes sure that these opportunities are visible and accessible to all our female scientists and engineers at Kiwi. And one tool to do that is to network. Uh, Irina was referring to it. Networking is not just to get to know people, it's, get to, it's also meant to inspire you to get out of a meeting with more energy than before, to generate teams, because you also need a lot of solidarity when you carry out research or you work in fields related to engineers. So I would say definitely uh, opportunities to pursue your dream and networking is a way to show those opportunities and grab them. Yeah, and an important way of course, uh, networking is the way you can uh, get things organized, done uh, and where people can really team up, help each other. Um, next question uh, I would like to pose to uh, Kiele. Uh, you just won this grant a year ago, and what did it mean for you? Well, it meant a lot to me, especially because well, I am the CEO. And at the moment of the Marina van Damme grant, I was thinking of just giving up being CEO because I, wasn't, I, was, I didn't have the confidence that I could be a CEO because I was so different. In my company, there are only men. So you're different, exactly, you're different. <laughs> and so maybe they're not what you expected, but I've learned as well that can be your quality. And because you stand out, you're different. And the Marina van, van Damme Grant helped me to accept that difference, and it is no problem, it can be a benefit. And always, also, I think, huh, like Tamara said, it's good that uh, you win the prize money, you can do education, but even more valuable is the network. Because again, I'm a CEO in a company with only men. So you never have the, like the female talk and say, okay, I think really this is difficult, but you can do this in this network. And that's really something I appreciate. Yeah. Can you also uh, give a couple of examples of what you think made a difference for you? So. With this grant, what could you achieve that would have been more difficult to achieve if you wouldn't have got this grant? Uh, well, it's, it's, it's also a feeling, you know. We women, we do a lot of intuition. And mm -hmm. maybe sometimes that's not really accepted by men. But it's also an intuition to feel supported the day I won this prize. I also thought, well, I'm supported by this whole network of women who believe in me that I can do this. So I... I owe them to continue as well to being a CEO and I succeeded. Yeah. So, so even more important than just the grant itself, the, it's the money very that you got. I didn't say yeah, yeah, sure, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, but the fact that you are a member of this network yeah. right now yeah. and that it, yeah. that this network is uh, meeting frequently, yeah. helping each other, creating the opportunity to discuss things with another, that yeah. gives you a strong yeah. backup yeah. Yeah. for doing yeah. the things that you do. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's so Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> question uh, that I would like to uh, pose to Elena again. She is one of the uh, senior members, uh, senior women in our university right now. And uh, so you have seen a lot changing over the years, I think, at the university. Do you think at this moment, with all the things that have changed, that it still is necessary no nowadays to support women in engineering this way? Um. Absolutely, it's necessary to support instead, in spite of the number of growing number of male um, professionals in, at our university at all levels, assistant professors, associate professors, professors. I personally thankful to a couple of people in my life who are very, who were very much in favor of female 
academic stuff. One of them is Martin Steinbuch. It's a person with whom you could talk and recognize or explain what what is disturbing you, what is, like you told, intuition. Because by intuition you are feeling something but cannot cope with that because there is no network of the women with whom you could um, in a right way to discuss these things. And now, of course, we have a very expanded wise um, uh, network organization, but still women have their very much personal concerns. It's m with many aspects. It's uh, private life, it's professional life, how to grow up, where is the horizon of the they grow, um, can they, they reach their goals, how to get new projects because it's so tight or so tough actually uh, right now to get gr uh, rather uh, proper grants and be recognizable or, um, and all these things we are sometimes missing uh, still in spite of enormous efforts of the university to, to, to promote women. So. There is still a, a bit uh, delay or uh, decay, uh, de decay uh, might be necessary that it's uh, not uh, saturated, but it reaches the level like it was with, with all men. So it's not reached yet. Mm -hmm. And I consider that, uh, again, if we are talking about necessary support for, uh, for the women, definitely, especially in engineering. Thank you very much. We are surrounded by, by the men. <laughs> thank, thank you, Elena. Uh, with an eye on time, uh, especially as uh, our rector has very limited time available, uh, I would like to thank you uh, for answering these questions. And may I ask you to take your seats back again? That brings us uh, to the uh, moment supreme. That is, uh, we are getting to the point that we first learn to know uh, the two people that are the candidates that have uh, been elected for this uh, award. Um, and uh, before we get to the short presentations and short introductions uh, by our two uh, uh, selected people, uh, I would like to say a few words first. First of all, uh, I would like to say a few words on Marina van Damme, who made this uh, feasible. Uh, I think the, the interesting thing is that Marina was one of the uh, early females that uh, reached uh, a high position in industry. Uh, she studied at Delft University at the time that uh, not many women uh, started studying uh, in an engineering discipline. Um, and uh, when she graduated from uh, Delft University uh, at Chemical Engineering, she first started working in research at TNO. Um, and then after a couple of years, uh, she uh, left and joined uh, uh, the, the salt industry in the Netherlands at that uh, point in time. It still was a separate uh, business. Later on, it was taken over by AXO. Uh, later on, became part of AXO Nobel. Uh, and Marina uh, had most of her career within that uh, organization and uh, has grown within that organization. So she has uh, seen all these difficulties. What she also did, what was special at her days, was uh, uh, getting for PhD research while she still was working at uh, industry. Uh, and she uh, got her PhD at uh, Twente University in 1965. Um, and that helped her to further develop her career, uh, where at a certain point she decided to step out of research to uh, get into the, uh, the business side of the company. Uh, and she made it up to the, uh, the board of uh, AXO, so that's pretty high level. And the interesting thing, I think, is that she decided at a certain point in time, um, early uh, 2000s, that it would be good to uh, stimulate and help other women to do similar things as she did, be ambitious, try to achieve things that uh, uh, were having contact with each other, as we just heard also in the panel discussion, establishing a network where people meet each other, help each other, uh, facilitating that by establishing this grant. And she did so at all four technical universities that we have today at, uh, in the Netherlands, uh, which I think is a marvelous initiative. And the good, good news is, I think, that she intends to continue doing this. Uh, so I want to give a very warm applause for Marina for 
taking this decision and doing this. There's another thing that I also shortly want to uh, mention is uh, Jan Oosterveld, uh, who is member of the board of uh, uh, the University of Eindhoven. He has been uh, actually from the beginning that this uh, uh, grant was awarded at Eindhoven University as well. He has been involved uh, almost that whole period uh, and uh, being part of that jury because the, 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 the grant is awarded uh, through the uh, University of Eindhoven. And Jan has been doing that for several years right now, has been reading all these proposals that were submitted, and I can assure you that have been many. Jan has read them all, has been involved in uh, making decisions on uh, which persons to uh, be selected for the award, but this is the last time that he did it. So I want to give him a very warm applause as well for that work. And that brings us to the Moment Supreme, as I said. And I would like to invite the first person that's candidate uh, for this award, Chen Yui Zhang. The floor is yours. To the right and to the left, yeah. Yeah, so good afternoon, everyone. Um, it's a great, uh, great pleasure to be here to talk with you about my Mariana Fondam grant application for this year. So as you can see, I'm Chen Yue Zhang, and I'm from China, and I'm a chemical engineer. <laughs> uh, firstly, please allow me to introduce myself briefly. Um, I'm the chemical engineer by trained, and I did my bachelor in ECAS China University of Science Technology in chemical engineering and technology. And afterwards, I moved to Germany to continue with my master program in chemical energy engineering. And afterwards, I was led to continue with my master graduation project with uh, Kai Zondermacher from the Max Planck Institute, Magdeburg, in his group, Process System Engineering. And I'm mainly working on the um, liquid design for the desulfurization processes. In, 2000, uh, in 2017, uh, I joined the European One Flow project. So the project is aimed to develop the green process design for the pharmaceuticals. And I mainly work in two groups, uh, microflow chemistry and the process technology group, and the bio uh, bioorganic chemistry group, chaired by Professor Volker Hessel and Professor Yang von Hast. During my PhD, I do have a, a chance to, uh, for a short, a short uh, research stay uh, funded by my project to visit a pharmaceutical engineering group located uh, at the University at Adelaide. Um, I graduated my PhD last February and I joined Power and Flu group and working with uh, Nico and Yali on a um, very inspiring uh, project uh, about the microplastics removal with uh, acoustic technology. So as you can see, as I mentioned, uh, with a combined computational and experiment method, I have investigated how to develop the process in uh, sulfur compound extraction process and uh, for the pharmaceutical process and the uh, later on purification process and also how to handle microplastics. In this case, for the next, I would like to use my knowledge I have gained in solvent design and flow chemistry and also the process optimization in especially uh, green or uh, circular ch chemicals processing. So this is why I'm here and this is why I applied the Mariana von Damm grant I would, I would like to work with Vito from Belgium Institute. So we would like to see how we can use the design solvent uh, to recycling the plastics. So we would like to explore both of the method in the physical recycling, so the separation and purification, and also the chemical recycling, depolymerization and the repolymerization. So hopefully we would like to transfer the plastic waste into the very useful and high quality chemis, uh, chemicals. <laughs> so also we would like to contribute to the short-term target and also the long-term target in Europe 
to achieve the climate neutral in next like 30 years and also to recycle up to 50% plastics packaging in next five years. Um, to end my short pitch, I would like to refer the sentence from one of my favorite female scientists and also a medicine laureate in Nobel Prize to Yo-Yo, who said, um, every scientist dreams of doing something that can help the world. Thanks a lot for the audience. And I, uh, last but not least, I would like to thank um, Mrs. Fonda and also thank uh, co uh, company members for this chance. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Please, then I like to invite our second uh, person uh, candidate. Please, the floor is yours. Thank you. So, on. Uh, <laughs> so hi, uh, I'm Brigitte, uh, and I would like to use this uh, uh, Marina van Dam grant and network in order to um, develop myself uh, as a leader um, in a management in, towards a management position in industry. So, moreover, I would like to be a role model, model for other women in science that would like to move towards industry and uh, get into a management position. Um, I think role models are a very important part of um, yeah, for women in science, women in industry. Uh, role models are needed to um, to uh, to get you inspired and to be okay with your ambitions. I have role models in my life at university, um, to, especially during my masters and bachelors in chemical engineering. They were uh, present and they even gave me confidence to do a PhD, although I was never the best student in chemistry. Um, I really enjoyed the journey and I uh, finished it, um, but I knew I always knew I wanted to go to industry. I tried my best to find people that also wanted to go to industry and talk about the dreams. But this was always very hard. It was, uh, um, those women were not so, so present actually at university. And I think it's needed um, that more um, women um, show them that would like to have such a career in industry are also showing themselves at university. So I would like to be a role model in that and keep in contact with universities while following my dream career path. And that career started actually um, in Switzerland uh, at Metro, which um, I am now a team lead in the column, column innovation department. There I am um, uh, responsible for now five people uh, in, a, in my team. And uh, we am part of the leadership team um, of the column division department where we deal with the long-term vision of the department. And there you need skills that you don't learn at university. You can, you can learn from good leaders. Um, I was lucky to have some in, uh, during my PhD, but um, yeah, I would like to improve these skills, uh, um, yeah, these leadership skills or gain them even. Um, and this I would like to do by a, a leadership course at INSEED. Um, and there I hope to uh, learn new, I mean, I think I will le le learn new skills uh, which will bring me further in my career, but I can also show other women in science that it is possible to go for such a career. And um, even if you're not the best student at school, if you like what you do and you believe in it, you can do it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And that brings us uh, to the real moment where we are going to announce uh, who's the winner of this uh, competition this year. And I would like to invite our rector, Frank Bayens, uh, uh, to make this announcement. Uh, well, it should not be a surprise, I guess, that, that, that I feel that we still, still should provide full support to females in science and technology and industry. I mean, uh, there was a recent uh, statement by uh, uh, Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple. He said there's no reason why we shouldn't have more females in tech. I thought, wow, well, there's a simple solution. Go for an ANK fellowship program. <laughs> That's what we did, and it made a difference. So, and, and then continue to, to provide the, the support that, that is needed in, a, um, in an area which is in many cases still largely uh, male dominant. There are certain areas at this university where we have a 
almost 50-50 ratio between male and female. And then we basically see an almost automatic process and everything are going the way it should go. But we know that we have to exceed this 30% threshold. That was exactly the objective that we had with the uh, Iranic Fellowship Program. And also this program, the Marine Infant Dump Program, I think is one of the components that we need to, to, to see how we can develop um, better participation of females, in particular in the STEM uh, field. But you've not been waiting for this speech, right? You've been waiting for the announcement of the winner. <laughs> so we are going to make the announcement right now, Frank. <laughs> Congratulations. Good. Let, let's, let's give the... Um, yeah. yeah. I think it's a very nice award that you have. Together with a statue. Yeah? Please enjoy it. Okay. Sorry, you should have been on stage first. Uh, <laughs> but, but I hope you're, you're happy with it. You're proud of being nominated. I think that in itself should give you enormous stimulus of what you're doing. I really like what you're talking about. And I, I hope you can use it uh, to your benefit. Yeah. Yeah? Well. Enjoy it. Yeah. You get that? Yeah. You too. It's about you. <laughs> I really also would like to have a picture right. together with Marina. Uh, you want a picture team. with me? You, yeah. can, you, you can Photoshop me out of the picture if you like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great, thank you. Marina, may I invite you to uh, also take a picture? Yeah. yeah. This uh, brings us uh, to uh, the end of this ceremony, but before we really close it, uh, I would like to hand over the microphone to Mrs. Van Damme, if I can find the microphone somewhere. <laughs> because she also wants to uh, say a few words to us as well. In het Nederlands. In mijn onderneming spraken wij Engels. Maar het is al meer dan 32 jaar geleden dat ik met pensioen ben gegaan. En bij mij in het dorp wordt alleen maar plat achterhoeks gespeeld. <lacht> dus ik ben het wat verleerd om in het Engels te spreken. Maar diegenen die hier werkzaam zijn, die moeten in mijn opinion zo zachtjes aan ook wel geleerd hebben om Nederlands te kunnen volgen. Ik ben erg verheugd om bij dit soort bijeenkomsten aanwezig te kunnen zijn. En het verheugt mij om jullie te kunnen meedelen dat als de wereld niet vergaat, zulke bijeenkomsten nog de komende twintig jaar zullen doorgaan. Op de vier universiteiten. En ik hoorde van Elena dat zij gelukkig denkt, of gelukkig, dat zij denkt dat dit waarschijnlijk ook nog wel nodig zal zijn. Om de afgelopen twintig jaar te vieren, is afgesproken dat volgend jaar, november, in Twente weliswaar, maar toch in aanwezigheid van de vier technische universiteiten die in de federatie verenigd zijn, een grote feestelijke bijeenkomst te houden waar we die afgelopen twintig jaar gaan vieren met elkaar. En daar zullen sprekers van het netwerk, maar ook sprekers van de vier universiteiten het woord doen. En zullen jullie de kans krijgen om meer in detail te horen wat deze en gene al in hun carrière bereikt hebben. Eén daarvan is tegen het pensioen aan, maar anderen zijn ook ver in de 50. 
En dan kunt u al heel wat anders horen dan wat u nu vanmorgen gehoord hebt van degenen die pas een aantal jaren geleden deze beurs hebben ontvangen. Veel van jullie worden uitgenodigd om aanwezig te zijn bij deze bijeenkomst. En ik heet jullie nu al van harte welkom. Of ik het dan nog kan zijn, weet ik niet. Maar in gedachten, hoe die zijn en waar die zijn, zal ik altijd bij aanwezig zijn. Dank u. Dank u wel. Dank u wel. En dank u wel voor de uitnodiging. Um, and this brings us uh, to the end of the uh, ceremony. Before I really close, I would like to thank the jury again for all the hard work that they did uh, to uh, read all the uh, applications to make the selection. Uh, I think marvelous candidates came out, a marvelous winner and runner-up. So thank you very much for the uh, hard preparations, hard work that you did in preparing for this. Thank you. Thank you.